Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Drones. So today we've got part two of my review of the Autel Evo. So this review is going to be a bit longer because I've got the flight footage coming up at the end of this. I've also got footage from my GoPro and I want to go through things that I didn't show you on the app the other day and give you my impressions on it. So, let's just quickly go into the app. I hope you can see that all right. So on the bottom of this app you've got... Hang on a minute. Am I connected? Yeah. So these are your functions at the bottom. You've got digital zoom, colour gradient, white balance, all the general stuff. But I'm going to show you the zoom function because it really is simple to use. And in the video, you're going to see me zoom a couple of times. I'll also put on a screen when I'm doing it. It's not lossless by any stretch of the imagination. And you do lose quality, especially if it's something close in. So bear that in mind. So to zoom, to zoom it's quick, simply... Select any one of them you want. You'll see the image is zooming in at the minute. Hope you can see that on my phone. Really is easy to use. It, everything is very straightforward on this. Everything is so straightforward it's untrue. Your recording mode, NTSC PAL. You adjust that, your resolution's adjusted here, so I've got mine in 4K. You can change that 24 bits frames per second. Because I'm in PAL now, it's dropped it to 50. The video you're going to see has been recorded in 60 frames per second. So the video you're going to see has 60 frames per second, 100 megabits per second, and it's in 4K. And it really does look nice. You're going to have to bear in mind when you watch a video that i filmed this in the... Oh, it's now raining again. So i filmed this in the UK in winter. So it, I was dodging showers. So you'll see it's very dark outside. So you're going to have to remember that this isn't a great day. There's no filters on this. This is a standard Evo. I need to buy some filters for it. And the EV setting was at zero. And you can adjust your video format out. So you can have MOV or MP4. As you can on the Phantom. Or DJI. It's come out that so all the rest of it compass calibration exactly the same. I keep losing the if you see that so compass calibration is exactly as it is on anything else spin it nose down spin it again really wasn't a problem to to do and all the rest of these are what you'd find in the DJI go up there's not as much features on this as on the DJI. I will tell you that. I haven't done any of the flight features there, so I'm not going to show you Follow Me or any of that. Uh, that's another video. What I wanted to do today was try and get the flight footage up so you could have a look at how good it looks, because that's the main thing. And it's a camera drone. These things live or die by how good the camera is and how stable it is. So you're going to see that in the video. So let me give you my overall impressions on it. I absolutely love it. I actually now prefer it than my Mavic, and I never thought I'd say my Mavic Pro, I never thought I'd say that, but I do. I've seen some video, whether this was, obviously of the videos I watched on this were when it first came out, and there may have been issues with it hovering, but people say it wasn't very stable. You're going to see from the image, from the video I'll show you how stable it is, when I film it with a GoPro, it doesn't move, it's absolutely rock steady. It's rock steady in the air, there's about 6 to 7 mile an hour wind here, it's very gloomy, very very overcast I could not fault it the app also faultless it has not broke up on me once I've had it I had it over 100 I've had it 120 meters on the maximum thing and I've had it the other day I think when I did the first test on it maybe I don't know well over a kilometer and it never never had break up never had any distortion nothing it will just work exactly as it should the gimbal seems perfect it's extremely smooth and it's up and down or it's up and down so you can probably see there. So if you watch a gimbal go up and down, it's very, very smooth. It's silky smooth, in fact. So, let me just show you speed modes. So, the one thing about this is, and you can do it on the fly, so I can change the speed modes when I'm actually flying, which is another great thing. And I have messed with these. So, speed limit maximum 18 kilometers an hour, 36, and then 54 and then you've got ludicrous mode. Ludicrous mode is 72 kilometers an hour and it turns off all the sensors. You certainly don't want to film at 72 kilometers an hour. I had a quick go with it 
it's very controllable but it's not for filming it's just for having a mess around with but having said that the video I've just recorded is in two different settings because I moved it when I was flying between 34 and 18 but even at 54 as long as you slow as long as you're careful with your yawing it's going to be absolutely fine so it's a nice thing to set it it'd be nice if it was on a button but fantastic I highly recommend this I don't know if it'll ever come out in, in Europe someone's told me in the comments below that it can't get the CE registration or something like that or it can't meet it at the minute now whether it does or not I don't know whether it'll ever get there I hope it does because it'd be nice to see more of these but if you can get hold of one by the way you're perfectly legal to buy one of these but if you can get hold of one in the UK I highly recommend it for the money I paid for this 720 with two batteries you, I got it cheap you might pay a little bit more than that and it's not got the same functions as a Mavic Zoom but this thing has a got um, it's not got a one inch sensor but neither is that but it has got this has got 60 frames a second which a Zoom doesn't so it's entirely up to you I am very happy with what I purchased I will do a comparison video between this and the Mavic Pro the Mark 1 Mavic Pro as it now is I'll do a comparison on that because they're more like for like it's not compared to the new one, it never was going to be it's compared against that so I will do a video comparing the two but that'll be in the future so sorry it's going to be a long video the flight footage is coming up, hope you enjoy it and the footage from the GoPro you'll see when I zoom in and out I'll tell you on the screen when it's happening as well but you'll see that it, you do lose some quality zooming in and out but it's nice to have the function but hope you enjoyed it, have a fantastic day See you soon.
Thank you.